Hello. Um, I'm doing another unboxing, kind of technically, um, because I actually have unboxed all of the things that I will be unboxing. Um, simply because uh, I have had a very guilty pleasure, very guilty pleasure, <laughs> over the last three months, which is that I've been playing Crane Game Toreba, which is a online Japanese crane machine game app. Um, and I ha I played it before. I have played it last year for like, I don't know, maybe a couple, a few weeks. I don't remember how long. I just remember that I was very bad at it. I won, a f I won four things at that time, but I spent way more than I should have. Um, not even just winning the things, losing things. Losing things. I don't think I spent a tremendous amount on the things I won. I think I spent a tre tremendous amount overall um, just being bad at the game. And so I, I remember... I remember I rage quit because I was just so upset of how much I sucked and how much I lost as far as... This game... Card capture Sakura stuff, that's my like the bane of my existence in this game. Anytime I see Card Capture Sakura stuff, because I love the series so much, I go for it and I try so hard to win and I always lose because they're so sought after that it's so hard to even like get in line to play for things, let alone actually win it. And I remember what got me the first time was a Card Capture Sakura tote that I thought was so pretty. And it's just a tote bag, like how much could it like realistically cost if you were to buy it, like if it was in a store, which apparently, you know, they're not. These things are just prizes, so you have to win them or have someone else win them and then wait till someone puts it up on eBay or like resells it somewhere else in their own little shop. And that's all well and good, but yeah, I, I remember that one was killer. That tote, that tote just broke me. So I was like... And I never won it. I never won. I never won anything Car Capture Sakura until now. One thing, but I'm still even so happy because I broke my losing streak of Car Capture Sakura stuff. And I'm very, like, now I'm kind of more, you know, reserved about it. But anyway, the point is that I, I was watching a lot of UFO Catcher, like, YouTube um, channels. I really like, like, the Crane Couple and um, Kawaii Arcade Masters. Like, I love them. I watch them all the time. And um, I, I, I just I got the itch. Like, I've been to Japan, and I've played arcade. I've played the crane games there, and I had won things. And it just, it's fun. It, but it's different from regular claw machines in the West. You, it's not the kind of pick up and drop. And unlike claw machines both in the West and in Japan, they're not pick up and drop. Well, I mean, they're not, like, payout games. They don't, like have a certain amount of money you have to put in, as far as I know, anyway, have a certain amount of money you have to put into a machine before it actually holds the item and drops it, because it's just not that kind of game. Um, but anyway, that's just technical stuff. Point is, I was playing Tureba. I mean, I kind of still am, but mostly I'm not, because I learned a lot about myself when I started playing it again this time, and uh, yeah, I wasn't happy about what I found out. So <laughs> anyway, Point is, this is to show you my Tureba haul, all right? And at the end, I will give you some tips about, you know, what I think is a strategy to win. And, um, you know, just, just basically, like, advice and, and whether I recommend Tureba at all. And, um, you know, I have I'm mixed feelings about that. But anyway, I did win 29 things, which for me is a lot. That's really good. Other people could win 29 things in probably like a week or two. I won 29 things in like um, uh, in like three months, over the course of three months. So, and I don't feel bad about that. I feel like, you know, that that's a really decent amount of stuff. And I feel like if I wanted to win more, I would have had to spend even more. And I just, I'm not about that life. And I had, I had a very rude awakening when I finally did add up how much I spent. So, Point is, it was decent. It's a decent haul for for um, for me. So I'm gonna start. Here's the order. So if you don't want to watch the whole thing, the order of things that I'm opening, I mean showing you guys, because I already opened everything. 
but because I just got my last thing today, I'm I'm basically done, and uh, uh, I I'm gonna open it in order of Sanrio's items, um, general um, Japanese like character slash anime stuff, and then Disney, because what I'm won the most of was Sanrio stuff. And Disney stuff. Definitely mostly Disney. Mind you, I go for Disney most. But also, Toreba has a lot of Disney prizes. Like, it has tons of stuff all the time. And Sanrio. Like, that's, like, the, the majority of stuff they have is Sanrio stuff and Disney stuff. So that, you know, no surprise that that's mostly what I have. And honestly, I also don't, I wasn't, I don't watch a lot of, like, the really, really, like, popular anime, like, like, other than Car Capture Sakura, uh, they have, like, a lot of, like, Love Live and, like, the Idol shows and stuff like that. And I don't watch any of them. And that that's probably... And they have a lot of Fate. Fate Stay Night stuff. Like, tons of it. So, I, it, it's probably for the best that I don't... Like, I'm not familiar with it because then I would be even worse off. And I'd want all of the things. But, yeah. So, okay. Enough talking. Time to unbox. First, I'm going to start off with, um, yeah. So Sanrio, like I said, it, like you saw in the, by the way, the, um, the opening, like the thumbnail, this is how big. I got like two boxes like this and um, other boxes that I've gotten were smaller because I had less things shipped to me at that time, but, or smaller things shipped to me. But yeah, they get, you get huge boxes. Um, so yeah, Sanrio, okay, first I'm going to show you, <laughs> towels, <laughs> now the towels you usually win on Tereba are not like nice, nice towels, I mean they're not thick at all, they're very, very thin and like cheapy feeling, but they're so cute and this is okay because these are just hand towels, you know, they're like washcloth size. Um, and I just, this one I got, well, I don't know, pick one, they're both the same. One of these I got on a free play ticket, the other one I paid $5 for, essentially. And, um, I'm very happy about that. So, yeah, um, so each one has six designs and has a cute, it really is packaged very cutely. Actually, this is the one I think I didn't open. So... I have not opened these things because I wanted to make some of these things because I wanted to make this video. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, ta -da! So you've got, you've got. Oh, I never remember his name. So you got my Melly. You've got um, Hello Kitty. You got Cinnamon Roll Pom Pom Pudding, and um, oh, I don't remember the dog's name either. I don't know all the Hello Kitty characters. When I was a kid, the only Hello Kitty characters I knew was Hello Kitty and Kuropi, only because for some reason my local like like Asian store, neighborhood store, which was also a one hour photo developing store, um, was just, I had a lot of Kuropi stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Don't, I mean, yeah. So anyway, point is, uh, I learned a lot more when I went to Sanrio Pearl Land myself and uh, saw more characters, but I still don't remember this one and that one. But they're so cute, like they're kind of like a different style because I think it's a collab with someone. Like they did a collab with some other kind of design, like um, series. And so Hello Kitty is like super cutesy, chibi style, like look how adorable she is, she has such a fat little squishy head! Look at it! But yeah, they're so cute! And um... They're, yeah, see, they're, this is the size that they are. And they're very thin, super thin, but that's okay. I like them thin anyway. I actually prefer thinner, like, hand towels. Um, so, yeah, that's how thin they are. But, yeah, I have, like, uh, I have 12 of these because I won two boxes because they were actually pretty easy to win. Thank God. And I got really lucky. So, and that's, that's, that's one of the tips, by the way. A lot of luck. That's uh, easier said than done. <laughs> Most of the stuff I won was sheer luck. I, I, not even, I mean, that's just the, that's the truth of it. Not skill, because God knows, don't got much of that. But yeah, so yeah, I won, whoops, I got, I won more, I won, um, 
quite a few towels actually. Well, not quite a few, but uh, for some reason the hand towels are not a big, like not a lot of people go for them, which is fine by me because I actually like hand towels. So here's the thing. Another theme of the stuff I won is that I don't have a lot of room. I don't have a lot of space. See Herbert Sherbert the third back there. He's there because there's nowhere else for him to be. All right, so I don't have room for huge, huge plushies. A lot of people get the huge, huge plushies, and that's great. I wish I could get a million huge plushies, all of the squish. I cannot because no space, you know? I mean, I just can't. So I try. Most of the time, I don't go for things. I go for don't go for huge things. I go for things that are tiny or that are practical in some way, like towels. So... That is the first item of Sanrio. Now, another thing that I got that was Sanrio that was, again, one of the practical things, and I got a lot of these in the beginning. Uh, I was going for a lot of bags. And this was also on a free ticket, very lucky win. Someone was playing before me, and they had left it. They tried, they tried, they tried, and they just left. And I was shocked, And but I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. And, because I never have any hope, like, especially with a free ticket, especially if someone's been trying and trying before me, I'm like, well, what, what chance do I have? I got it. And I was shocked. And this, so yeah, this free ticket win. And what this is, is a Hello Kitty backpack. And I know it doesn't look like one, but it's one of those zipped up, like, foldable ones. So if you're traveling and you don't have space in your luggage, at, but you think you, you'll need an extra bag for some reason, Perfect. You just pack this and it opens into, which I will show you. And this folds up. That was a pouch before, and now it is a pouch again. Backpack! Da -da. It's a transformer! But yeah! Um, I don't remember her name either, this yellow bowed Hello Kitty. I don't understand. I didn't know there was a yellow bowed Hello Kitty until I won the backpack. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it's really cute. It's really practical. It's pretty big too. Like it's a good size. And uh, I mean, the material is thin because it has to be because it's folding up. But that's okay because that's that's fine with me. This is good if you're like, again, like if you have like a, you need a, a carry on um, if you're flying or something, but, or if you're going somewhere, like, on a, like, I don't know, weekend trip, or just going anywhere, and you think, oh, I'm gonna need a backpack, so bring this, <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute, I love it, yeah, but very thin, super thin, very, very thin, probably you wouldn't want to put anything too heavy in here, but it's really nice, see, Ta -da -da. just to see the close-up of, I think it's, like, called Best Friends, or something like that, so yeah, there's, Red bowed Hello Kitty, and yellow bowed Hello Not Kitty, or I don't know. Anyway, so that's the other thing I won. That was Hello Kitty and Sanrio. And um, this, oops. oh, that's right. Okay, so this is another thing I won that was Hello Kitty. Again, in the beginning, I went very bag crazy because I, I like bags, and I feel like well, you can have enough bags because now I have reached that limit of I think I have enough bags, but this is a Hello Kitty shoulder bag. So it, I love, by the way, when I got these, I was shocked because I expected them to be open because they're kind of like tote bags, but they actually have zippers, which I really appreciate. So it's pretty roomy inside. It's supposed to be, the design is supposed to be like, um, there's nothing in there. It's just that there's not like little pockets or anything oh yes there is i lied there's one little pocket right here so um i haven't used this yet but basically this is supposed to be in the style of like a sweater with hello Kitty's face on it and it also has this longer strap so you could do like they say be like a like kind of like a, a crossbody bag um so yeah it's really really cute and this is actually pretty thick this is really good material so, um, I love this. I was really happy when I got this and, and it finally came in. 
this was one of the first things I won. And uh, yeah, I, I don't remember how many tries it took. Not a lot. Honestly, most of the stuff I won, most of them didn't take that many tries. Uh, it's the stuff I lost that took a lot of tries, <laughs> which makes me sad. But anyway, so yes, that's the other bag. That's the other Sanrio stuff. And again, not the same thing I showed you before. This is also a like little zipped up Hello Kitty pouch bag. But instead of a backpack, it is a Boston bag. And that means like a duffel. And it is really big. And um, they had two designs, but I actually, I liked the black of this one, but I preferred the design of the other one. The other one was blue. And the design on the other one was like Hello Kitty, like travel stuff, like Hello Kitty in a plane and like other like suitcase things. And I liked that a lot. I wish they had that design on this, but alas, I think this was the very first thing I won this time since February. In February, this is what I won. So, yes, I will open it, and we will see how big this actually gets. And again, that front zipper pouch folds the other way into a front pouch for the bag. And there's also, there's like a, there's a... There's a strap that goes with this. I hope I didn't lose the strap. I think I put it in here. Um, yes, there's a strap that hooks on to these on the side so you can again like carry it like that. But it is decently big. And it's it's very wide. Like if you were to fill this with stuff, you could fill it with a ton of stuff. Um, there. Again, great for a carry-on. Great for like if you're going somewhere and you don't have a carry-on on the way, but you think you might need one on the way back. And because you know souvenirs and whatnot and so this is perfect because you could just pack this in your luggage doesn't take up much room and then open it up and fill it with stuff and again it's very thin material you're not I mean you can't put like very heavy stuff you'll probably tear it I don't know but if I mean it doesn't feel like oh it's gonna tear through it's kind of like a like a waterproofy kind of feeling like almost like a raincoat or something um, but yeah so this is really cute. I mean, I was really, again, very happy with the quality of it. Very happy with how big it is because um, it's really decent. That's huge. So, okay, that's the other Hello Kitty thing I won. And the last Hello Kitty thing I won, I hope, because I can't, can't, I, there's a lot of stuff, 29 things. So, last Hello Kitty thing I won was in one of those capsule games. And it is the first plushie I will show you. And it's just, just tiny. <laughs> this is my Melody. And I got her in one of those machines where you, this one does pick up, but it doesn't, like, drop it in a chute. It drops it, and there's it's, just, like, in, in a ball, um, like those gachapons, except, like, a big gachapon. And it drops it, and you it'll either go into the win, like, section, which means you win it, you get it, or back into the pile with the other prizes that you just picked it up from and which means you did not get it so you got you have a 50 50 shot of getting it but usually it doesn't go into the you know win area this one is supposed to be a valentine's one okay it's, hence i mean i won it in february so there's a little heart thing there with like a bow and dots and a little bow here and it's the the thing is the thing I really like about this because I'm not a he like I don't care that much about my melody or any of the other characters besides Hello Kitty I'm I'm mostly just a Hello Kitty fan although I do really like Cinnamon Roll because I think it's cute this is so squishy like oh my god like when I got it I'm like oh my god what is in here why is it so squish it is all of the squish 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 so I love that it's so squishy. It's a very big stress reliever, like squishy, squishy melody, and so soft. But yeah, this is a tiny, they call these mascot, mascot keychain things. Like, it is a keychain. You can hang it wherever. Obviously, I would not put this on my keys. This would just get in the way and annoy me. But, um, yeah, she is so squish. So yeah, that's the last Hello Kitty thing, or Sanrio thing, that I won. Um, how many items was that? One, two, three four, five, six. So that's six Sanrio things. Um, the next thing I'm going to start with 
This is the, um, the, like, anime slash general Japanese style prize section, like the cutesy prizes. First thing I'm going to show you is actually not something I won. It was a freebie that came in my second package, the biggest package that I got, because there were eight items in there. That's when I had first started playing and it was like, ooh, what is money? <laughs> But no, I actually did really well with how much I spent on that point and how much I was winning, except most of the things I was winning was really small, so there was that. But anyway, so yeah, this was a freebie, which is really nice of them. I think it was like the first 10,000 people who like requested shipping while this campaign was going on, and I don't remember what this character is, um, but it's their kitties. Kitties are cute. So yeah, kitties eating like ramen. And it's a clear file folder. Here's the back. And uh, yeah, this was free. Very nice. Um, so yeah, I was happy to get that. I haven't used it yet. Hence, it's still in plastic. But yeah, very, very nice. So technically 30 items. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start with some random, like, oh no, you know what? I'm going to start with a disappointment. This was my biggest disappointment. When I play, when I got like my first batch of items, this almost this almost caused me to just stop right there because I was so disappointed with the quality, um, and I was just like, if this is what I'm getting, then it's not worth it. So I really like Yuri on Ice, and I saw these mirrors that they had, and they were like little standy mirrors, and I decided to play for it until I won, and. Um, this is the design. There's lint on it. Anyway, so you've got you've got Yurio, you've got Victor, you've got um, Yuri. So you've got them all over with like a snowflake design. There you go. It's very cute. It's pretty. I mean, you could tell that it's cheap. You could feel it. But I mean, because it is a prize. Um, but I did not expect, it's supposed to be a standing mirror, so you would put it like this, alright? You put it like this on this, this part, it'll lean on like the seam, and I'm like, oh, that's very nice, but here I am, oh my god, it's me, Inception, holy crap, here I am, and there I am again. But here's the thing, I don't know if you could tell, there you go, there, can you tell now? This is not, oh, you're so great too. It's great and Jimmy, and there they are. So this is not a mirror mirror. This is a fun house mirror. It is a really cheap old quality mirror that's terrible. Like, you can't use this as a mirror. That's impossible. It's awful. I was so mad. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yuri on ice mirror, why? Why are you like so shitty? What the heck? This is unacceptable! I was so mad because I'm like, I can't even use this. This is freaking, you look at it and it's just like long, small, like all distorted. I'm like, there's no way, is this supposed to be like this? Did I get a defective one? I mean, you, I, no, this is, this, I was really upset. I'm like, because I spent money trying to win. Like I really wanted it and I'm like, I'm going to win this Yuri on Ice thing. Because I just, I just love the show. And I'm like, that's a really cute practical thing. And, and yet, this was my first and thankfully only real disappointment from all the things I won. I just, I just, I'm not happy with this at all. And I was, I quit. I quit for like, I think a week or two. And then I got the big box of awesome. And then I was like, okay. And they gave me a free ticket as well because they ship stuff and they give you a free ticket some, like, I think once a month. And um, I was like, okay, okay, maybe this was just a one-off thing, and I'm never playing for Mirror again, ever, 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 ever. But yes, so this is Yuri on Ice. This was not the only Yuri on Ice thing I got. The next Yuri on Ice thing I got was off of a free ticket. Um, I wish that one was a free ticket, because at least I could say, well, I didn't pay it for it, so whatever. But this was a blind box keychain. And I did not know which one I would get. And the thing is, I won this, I was trying to, it was in one of those machines where it drops it and there's like these slats and it's like a long box. And 
you kind of it rarely goes in just from the very beginning you usually have to mess with it once it hits that slat area and then like kind of maneuver it so that it falls in well people had kind of given up on it and i was going to go and try and grab it from the very front so that when it picked it up it would actually fall in hopefully that was my theory i messed it up in fact many of the things i won I won them via messing it up, yet it's still doing something amazing anyway and actually working. So what happened was it went and it lifted it up just enough because I didn't even go far. You, that's the mistake I always make. I either go, don't go far back enough or don't go to the right enough because that's the only way you can actually maneuver the claw is back and right. So, um, yeah, I didn't go back enough and it just kind of touched it. It skimmed it and it just strained it enough that it fell in and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so anyway, point is... I could have gotten any one of these um, different uh, styles of Yuri um, characters and the there were a few I didn't care about like I didn't care about him and um, I forgot his name or 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 uh, Victor and Chris I don't really like Chris that much I didn't care about him with his dog with the dog um, uh, I didn't care about Yurio and Urbeck or whatever. Like, I wanted Yuri. And I wanted either Yuri and a combination of Victor or a combination of Yuri and Yurio. And this one is the one I wanted the most. That. Because it has all three of them eating. And it was super cute. And I know you can't see it well because it is very blurry. But... Yes, anything that has Yuri and Victor and or Yuri and Yurio was fine and ideally this. Like if I got in that one with all three of them, I would have been really happy. Um, now I've gotten blind boxes before, not from Toreba, of Yuri on ice, and I always get Yurio. Like it just seems like a theme. Like that's that's just what happens. My luck wants Yurio for some reason. And I like Yurio a lot. He's not my favorite, but I like him, so I'm fine with getting him. And apparently the streak has not been broken. Because here is Yuri and Yurio eating their, what are they called, um, piroshkis. And I love this scene. I think it's really cute. So I'm really happy. Like, it's not the one with Victor and Yuri and Yurio. That would have been amazing. But at least they are eating. And it has two of the three. So yes, I was happy with this. This was really good. And it was free. So, well, technically not. But anyway... Uh, yeah, so that's the other Yuri on Ice thing. I got two Yuri on Ice things. Now, um, some plushies, some more plushies. Uh, my other plush, so two other plushies I got were also from an anime. Now, this, one of the things I got was, like, because I had, I have not ever watched um, Full Metal Alchemist until recently, and because I heard so many good things about it, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to check it out. And I really fell in love with the series um, because it's great. Um, so they had a lot of, they had like a collaboration recently between, um, uh, Full Metal Alchemist and Sanrio. So this is technically Sanrio as well, but, so they're do, they did a really chibi style version of the characters. And this is the only thing I ever won that I didn't want. <laughs> and I only won it because it was an accident. So I was trying to get this very cute, very dour, like, pouty Ed, right? Here's Ed. Hi! I'm so mad. He has his little ponytail in the back. Look how cute he is! So I wanted Ed, but the other character that was in the machine also was Envy. I did not want Envy. I was trying to poke Ed. The crane, they were too close, so the, the crane poked Envy. And Envy fell before Ed. And I'm like, they're like, you won. And I'm like, I didn't want Envy. Envy, who, who asked you to come? But it's okay. I mean, it, it's not like I lost a play. I didn't because I still poked Ed, but I poked Envy too and Envy fell. So Envy is in my home. <sighs> Troublemaker. So yeah, I have Envy. I mean, Envy's really cute. I mean, the Sanrio style Envy. So... You know, it's fine. But yes, Envy is the only thing I've ever just ended up getting that I didn't really want. Um, and But I got Ed. I did eventually get Ed. I think it took me a couple more tries, but I got him. So I was happy, and uh, I have no regrets. There's Ed. Hi! 
Now, after that, I actually played for a lot more Full Metal Alchemist stuff because the collab was pretty new, I think, the Full Metal Alchemist Sanrio collab. So there was a ton of merchandise on, and still is, I still see stuff of Full Metal Alchemist and Sanrio. And um, one of the things, which were also free plays, by the way, three free plays, because they give you three plays, three free plays in addition to the one you get daily on the 10th and the 20th. So this was one of those four free plays, and I did this in three free plays. Someone was watching someone, I, they abandoned this, and I I was stoked because I think this was the first tote bag I won before I won the other Hello Kitty like tote bag things. Um, and I'm like, oh my god, the design is so cute. So then you have Ed and you have Al and you have the kitties, and it says, Full Metal Alchemist, Alphonse has dragged home another stray cat. And I'm like, oh my god! And look, it's, I mean, it's a really decent size. And again, I was shocked to find out there's actually a zipper on this tote bag. I wish all tote bags had zippers. I love it. And I've already used this bag, okay? It's pretty big. There's even a little pocket right here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's really nice. Like a canvas quality, like, it's thick, um, tote. And, uh, yeah, I was so happy. I was thrilled. I'm like, oh, my God. Because th I became one of those people who snipe you when you abandon something. Like, I, I was able to win the thing that the people in front of me weren't, which is a rarity. So I was like, you know, like, because you get in line. When you're playing these machines, you get in line. You, you join the queue to play. And if someone gives up in front of you, you can uh, continue where they left off. But... Yes, I'm very happy with this. I was uh, thrilled and I felt a little vindicated from losing my card capture Sakura tote the first time I started playing last year. So, uh, yes, I'm happy. All right. Now, the last thing that I won that was Full Metal Alchemist is this. <laughs> it's a huge round towel to the point that I can't go far back enough in my room for you to see it because my room is that small but uh yeah it's the same design as the tote it doesn't say the thing about the stray cats on it but it's so cute and it's round it's a round towel which I've never had a round towel before it's very very cute but again the quality of it is very thin as you can see it's Maybe, maybe just a tad, tiny bit, like a, like a, like a centimeter or millimeter bigger, like thicker than the washcloths, but mostly it's just, it's thin. It's like, I would use this, like, just for my hair. <laughs> so, like, to dry my hair, that's essentially all I would use it for, because it's just, it's too thin. But, I don't care, I think it's so cute. I have... I have Full Metal Alchemist towel! So yeah, I was really happy about that. I got that. And, uh... Now... The one and only thing I have ever won that was Card Capture Sakura from this site that, that, that money sink man, like, I just sunk so much money into trying to win Card Capture Sakura stuff and not doing it. This one, I won for free. <laughs> On a free ticket, I got in line, again, as usual, behind people who were playing. And, um, I, I just, they, they had ended up giving up, and I had one free play, and I tried it, and I got it, and I was shocked. So, here is another towel, this time rectangular, and it has Caro all over it. Look how cute! All of the Kiro Chan! It says Card Capture Soccer on it. It's from the Clear Card arc, which is currently airing. And it's got her cards on it, and little like hearts and Sakura flowers and stars. And yeah, it's orange, which I'm not a fan of, but and oh yeah, and it has her her key. See? That turns into her wand. And uh, it's just super cute, you know, look there. I love that Kiro. Uh, that's what how he feels when he sees the sweets and the foods. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, look, see, they're all different. They're all different heroes. Let's see here. So, yeah, I got that. I didn't necessarily want this design, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. 
uh, because they had another one that was pink and had sakura on it. Uh, let me see, because they, they have the paper. Let me see if I can show it to you. So I got that. And, uh, yeah, I wanted that one. But, obviously, that one was more popular, Carcaptor Sakura stuff. Again, getting into those machines and winning, easier said than done. So, I was just grateful to get that. So, uh, yeah, finally want something. <laughs> oh, my love. My long struggle has finally come to an end, but, uh, yeah, that was all the anime stuff, but now I'm gonna show you a couple of random, like, like, standard, like, the Amuse, uh, companies, like, you know, cutesy designed, like, mascot and, like, characters that they have, where they have kind of, like, um, I'm trying to think, like, uh, well, like the alpacas, <laughs> like the alpacas, like like Herbert Tripper back there. He's an amuse um, character. So this is a the girly ones, and I I think she might have been a free ticket as well. Um, and uh, I got really lucky with her. She was one of those ones that were like um, like your, the Yuri and Ice keychain, where you drop it into the slats, and it usually doesn't fall through. This one actually fell in. Um, so yeah, she's so cute. She's like lavender. I've named her because there's Herbert Sherbert the third, and I also have Herbert Sherbert the fourth. So um, I've named her Lavender Von Rufflebottom because I felt like that name was very appropriate. Uh, one day, if I have more room in my shelves, I may pose my Juvia plushie on her and have Gray ride Herbert Sherbert the fourth, and then they could ride side by side. Right now, they're riding together though, and they seem to prefer that, so it's fine. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is small. This is a tiny little mascot thing. And I love that the little, like, ball keychain part is purple as well. I mean, that's so cute. She honestly, she matches my room. Uh, so that's great. She is, like, almost the exact color of my room. So yeah, ta -da, there's that. And now, the thing that came today, the thing, the last thing I've won, uh, and also one of my favorite things that I've won, because I tell you that I don't play for large stuff, as you can see. Like, I've got bags, and i got towels, and I've got tiny keychains and tiny plushies. But I don't I have yet not shown you anything ginormous. The, the really popular prizes are the really big plushies. Because people feel like they're getting, you know, more bang for their buck winning the huge plushies. And perhaps you are. But I feel like it's pointless if you don't have somewhere to put them. But it doesn't matter, because this is something I really, really like. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, you know what? I can find somewhere to put this. This, his name, is Yeast Ken. And oh my goodness, he is all of the squish. He is so squishy. He, I could not believe, because I didn't expect him to be squishy when I won him. I mean, he was squashed into like a little loaf. And, um... Yeah, I was shocked that when he came, that he was so soft and so squish. He is all of the squish. So, like, ah. Uh... So, what he is, is he's a Shiba dog. But he is also a hot dog bun. Like, that's what he's supposed to be. He's got his little curly tail in the back here. But he is supposed and his tiny little feet. His tiny little ears. And his little fish. But, yeah, see how the color like goes up it's it's like a like a ombre kind of effect but it's supposed to be bread it's a bread sheba dog and he is a hot dog bun because of course he is because he's a dog so yeah he's supposed to be hot dog bun bread look how cute <gasps> and he's pretty big i mean like he's look he's this big <laughs> so um he's currently sitting on top of well not currently but he will be sitting on top of my one of the first, the first thing I ever wanted to rebel last year, which is my black giant cat um, that I have, and uh, yeah, so so yeah, he's so cute and I love him. Oh my god, because I've been trying to win something bread related because I love bread. I'm obsessed with bread. Like a day doesn't go by that I don't eat bread, which is a problem. Um, but yeah, he. I was trying to get something bread related. Ideally, I wanted one of those realistic bread cushions because I thought that they looked awesome and I could like lean on them. And uh, I have yet to like even be able to try for them because they're never in a good position where I could win it. 
especially since I'm trying to win on free plays. So, um, yeah, I, I, I've never been able to get one. But then this happened. So, again, I was behind somebody who was playing for him. And I, he, they gave up. They had got him in a really good position, and I was able to use my free play. But I did not win him on the free play. And here's the thing. That's how they get you. They're very smart giving away free plays daily. The reason I was able to just stop playing last year and not go back until now um, was because they didn't offer free plays daily. Not that I remember. And the free pay, play daily thing sounds like you'll be losing money, but you're not. Because, just like with Yeast Can here, I used my free play and it worked. It moved him a lot, but not enough. Because it's very hard to win on just one play. So it was like I was stuck in, in this position of do I spend $5 and get two more plays and win him or leave him and spend nothing. And I go, you know what? I think I could get him in another turn. And that's, that's, that's where they get you. I think I could get him in another turn. And another turn turns to two turns, turns to three turns, turns to six turns, turns to, turns to a lot of money. So I tried again. I did it. I sunk in the $5, and um, I tried another play. It moved again. Didn't work. Didn't go down. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to start feeling real bad about myself on this next play. I'm not going to get him. I got him. I got very lucky. And it like there was like a corner here that was, it was wrapped in plastic, and it caught on the plastic. It lifted him up, and he fell in. If it had not done that, I would have gotten him, and I would have just been out five bucks, and I would have felt shitty, uh, which is usually the case on the things that I lost. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was really happy, and look how cute I do not have any regrets. I I love him. He's so, so cute. And that, the fact that he's bred, hot dog bun bred, as, and, and is a doggy, I, I, yeah, I love him. So this is definitely in the top three favorite things I've won. Now, now... We shall move on to the Disney stuff. And, oh, there is a lot of Disney stuff. So uh, maybe I should start. I'm going to start with more towels. <laughs> I won these towels, too. So, um, again, this one wasn't hard to win. This was another $5 worth of tries. So it was like two tries. Um, and this is really cute because the way they package this, this is like... This is supposed to be a, their storybook series. Like, all the characters are, like, very cutesy, very chibi style. And this is designed to look like a book. See? It looks like a book. There's the pages. It's got, like, here's the cover. Um, and it even says Disney characters storybook on it. And so you open it up, and you've got all these little hand towels. You've got... Um, three little pigs. I don't know why they have three little pigs in there. That's like such a like that's like a short So I don't know why they would put that they should have had like a like one of the movies to go along with all the other movies But anyways, um, they have Bambi. They have Aristocats. They have Winnie the Pooh Alice, which is my favorite and uh, Pinocchio. So I'm gonna open up. Maybe I'm gonna open up the Alice one so you can see so here is Alice So, yes. Ta -da! So you have Alice and the white rabbit, and it looks like she's falling down that rabbit hole. And uh, you have like a little mushroom thing, or no, that's a lamp. Oh, this is the stuff around her that's falling with her. And uh, yeah, it's really cute. I love it. And it says on the back, fun, phantom muse. This is also a muse, I think. So, see, actually, no, I lie. This is Sega. So this is a Sega prize. It even says fun, phantom muse, Sega. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I got. I got six of these. There's six in here. And, uh, I was really happy. I was happy to win them because I like these designs. I like the really cutesy chibi stuff, obviously. So yes, I was happy to win that. And, uh, it was not hard. Thank God. So yes, that is one of the Disney things uh, in the many, many big, like, line here I have of Disney things. So I'm going to start... I'm going to start small and work my way up. So, next things I won were... Oh, no. I forgot. I didn't hook him back. Okay, so... I won teeny tiny... I won a lot of teeny tiny things. 
uh, I in the beginning. I, I didn't mind going for the small stuff. So I won Mickey, which I didn't really want Mickey, even though I love Mickey. Okay. But I didn't want Mickey. I wanted Donald. And I can't remember why I couldn't get him and I went for Mickey instead. Either he, someone else got him or he was in a weird spot and I decided to just play for Mickey and I won Mickey. And, uh, but yeah, he's like, they're like these, like, what are they called? Oofoofy style ones? So this is an Oofoofy kind of like barrel shaped um, style Mickey Mouse. But Donald is actually my favorite character. And I was lucky because they were clearing out that machine. And they had placed them different. And somebody in front of me, when I was stalking the machine, somebody in front of me realized you can one-shot them. And they, like, people cleared out a whole bunch of them. And there was, like, I literally think I got the last Donald by just one-shotting him the same way they did. Um, oh, no, there's lint on him. Okay. That was Mickey's fault. So, yeah, there's Donald. Look how cute he is. I love this little Donald. So he's got his little tail. And uh, he's got a little hat and a little bow. And, oh, I just love him. Very, very cute. So I was happy I was finally able to get the one I really, really wanted. So I got those two guys. Uh, I also got Belle. Uh, she was a pain in the ass. Um, not the time I got her, but the other times I was trying to play for these. And um, I just happened to one day get lucky finally. Someone left her and I was able to just poke her in. Um, but yeah, she's super tiny. These are the little, like, mascot-sized characters. And she's got her hair, and she's got a little dress. And this is the underneath of the dress. And uh, yeah, she's small. She's so small. So, uh, yeah, ta-da. She's so cute. But uh, yeah, got her. Um, there's another one. There's one more tiny Disney plushie I want to show you. But I want to show you it later after I show you some other stuff first. So, now, one of my favorite things things that I was trying to play for are the Q-Poskets. The Q-Poskets figures um, because I always wanted Q-Poskets. I ended up actually buying an Alice one because they had her, but I was like, there's no way because the the boxes are really hard. I'd never been able to really win those figure boxes, but these were the small boxes. These were like the kind that the little plushies were like in. So I go, maybe I could, I could do it. Um, now, originally, they had, like, the ones I started playing for were there was Tinkerbell, there was Belle, and there was Tiger Lily, and uh, someone took Belle. Belle was one, and so there was only Tiger Lily and, um, and, and Tinkerbell in there, and I didn't really care that much for Tiger Lily, but I did want Tinkerbell and Belle, but I wanted Belle the most. But I'm like, let me go for Tinkerbell, let me see. I tried for her, and I ended up one-shotting her, and I was shocked. Now... I was like, oh my god, these could be one-shotted. Now, she pisses me off because her wings are detachable. Uh, in fact, her head is detachable. Her head comes off. Um, but, yeah, she's so cute, though. Look at her. Look. So, yeah, I one-shotted her. I was shocked. And I'm like, oh my god, they have to put Belle back. I need to do this with Belle. I think I didn't one-shot Belle. I think for some reason something went wrong and I messed up the placement. And so... It took more than one shot, but I still got her. Look how cute! She's just sitting there. Look! Aww, ta -da. She's reading her book. Her favorite book. And singing, eventually. She can't sing here. So, now, they brought out more cute poskets at some point. The little tiny ones. I, uh, I try and go for because I, the hard, the big ones are even harder, in my opinion. Much harder. So, um, another one I won, completely by accident. Again, someone was playing, and they left it just a little bit from the reset position. And I wanted the, they basically brought out Peter, Wendy, Aladdin, and Jasmine. Now, I wanted all of them, ideally, but I'm like, there's no way. I'm just, I, there's no way I'm going to get, I want the boys the most. Because I, I don't know if they even done boys before this, like the mini ones. And I'm like, I like, and I like Peter and Aladdin a lot. So I was like, I want them ideally. If I could win them, I'll be happy. Um, so I say. But I, I messed up. Again, I messed up and I moved wrong and didn't go far enough to the right as usual. And it poked the box. And it just made the box fall in. Magically so. On a mistake, I won Peter in like two turns. And I'm like, oh my god. So 
yeah, I won beat her very quickly. And I was like, thank God, that saves me so much frustration. <laughs> and there he is! Of course, in my opinion, he's not complete without Wendy, but he does have Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell was very happy to have him. She doesn't need no love rivals around. She's fine with just Peter and her. Look. Um, but, yeah, I was happy I got Peter. And then Aladdin was there. And I go, well, I saw some, re some like, recent plays where they were able to flip him over the bars. I go, let me try. And with, indeed, within two turns, I was able to flip him over and win him too. I won them within like six bucks. But then I wasted four more bucks trying to win Wendy and not getting her. So it was like really 10 then. So I was just like, okay. But they're expensive. These little cute poskets are expensive online. Like, oh my God, like they're so small, but it's Disney and it's also Japan. So it's hard to get these things. You know, so that makes them even more expensive. And they really are so cute. Look how nice they are. Like, I love that style. Um, I did eventually get Wendy, but she was a pain in the ass. So here's Wendy. Okay, and she's shaky because she's not she's not stuck into the, the base like the others for some reason. I think her feet are too tiny. So it's just her head holding up with this, with this plastic thing. It's deceiving the way they have them, like, on the boxes and, and, and other kind of um, promotional stuff because you don't see that plastic thing when they display them. But uh, yeah, she's so cute and she's like got her hands clasped and you've got Peter over here looking at her and so very cute. So now I have Peter, Wendy, and Tink. And I never got Tiger Lily. I tried to get Tiger Lily just, just to complete because I'm like, well, I was able to one-shot the other ones, but nope. Couldn't get her and couldn't get Jasmine for poor lad and he's all by himself. But, you know, Belle's by herself, so, you know. Actually, they're not looking at each other. Well, he she's looking at him, but he's looking for Jasmine. Sorry, Aladdin, I couldn't get Jasmine. I wanted to. I still want to, but opportunity has not arisen. Now, the other one of my other favorite, absolutely favorite things I've won uh, at on this um, app is uh, this. It's the only large figure I've ever won because those figures are hell. I'm not good at playing those boxes, um, and she is very heavy. Is Alice, and there's like really cute base for her as well. Do you see? It's got like Cheshire Cat and the cards and like teapots and cake. It is really you got the the white rabbit on there, and it says Alice in Wonderland and Disney and it look how cute, and she's holding Dinah, her kitty, and she's like literally falling but my goodness she has to stick up her ass <laughs> but i mean she just looks so cool and she's really heavy like she's a decent quality heavy figure like i was not expecting that because it's still a prize figure i mean she looks really nice you know and look look at that so cute and i love how like everything looks like she's actually falling down like her her skirt's all flared you know her hair's like 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 kind of floating and it's just so cute but she never fell with Dinah Dinah never went with her but uh thank goodness because that kitty would have gotten lost but yeah so it's just a very cute figure and when I saw her I'm like I have to try and I think she's probably the thing I spent the most money trying to win and actually won and uh so I don't you know she, I, I think it was eventually I spent 28 which is not bad considering how much you would try and get her for like online I mean you could get a deal but it's because that you could get around that and maybe even a little less if they're offering free shipping but I think I did pretty okay I mean you know and especially for those box prizes I hate them so much so uh, yeah usually I would I would try and play that many turns but I just wanted her and I was so sunk in at that point that I'm like I have to get her so I got her and uh, I'm happy. And that was one of my definitely top three favorite things that I won. Now, we're coming up on the end of this. So the other thing I want to show you, this was a very recent prize. This cost me like a dollar and I didn't think I would get it. This is chip. It is a tiny little chip with a lot of floof. And uh, I don't even think this is necessarily a prize. I think this is something that they bought and that they had like like they bought wholesale and used as prizes um, although I don't know but yeah this is chip I didn't really want 
like Chip, like Chip's not my favorite, um, but he just was right there and in the machine. I'm like, you could probably just go behind him and tip him forward. And uh, yeah, sure enough, that's exactly what I did and it worked. So I got him, tiny, tiny Chip. And then on a free play, I got Giant Dale. <laughs> so I have Tiny Chip and Giant Dale. And again, I got really lucky with this um, free one because, again, free, because, uh, again, someone was playing before me and just was like, I don't know, I, I give up. I'm not playing anymore. Not worth it. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to try because it had decent lift. Like the claw was strong. And I just lifted him like this and he went like that and just fell in. And I was like, oh my goodness, I got a big deal. <laughs> so this is one of the other huge plushies. I mean, he's not that big, but he's big. Like he's bigger than they said he was going to be. He was only supposed to be like 12 inches tall or around that. And he's definitely like a 14 or 15 inch plush. In fact, I think he's about as big as my Yeast Ken doggy thing. So, yes, Giant Dale, who is now on my bed as well because there's nowhere else for him to be. And he's just so cute. He's really cute, and he has Chip, but Chip is, you know, I don't know, maybe Dale's been taking steroids or something. I don't know. He's like, you're always the boss in the relationship. I'm going to be bigger than you and boss you around. <laughs> and, but, uh, yeah, they're cute. And, actually, they are the perfect accompaniment to one of the first things I won and one of the probably my absolute favorite thing I won which is uh Donald he's so cute he's so like me look at him with the floppy feet and the like tiny arms and he's got his little rosy cheeks and he's just so cute oh my god i love him he's all like kind of curly furry he's not as soft as like the yeast can thing because of the fur but like the curly fur but he's still soft and oh my god i love his face it's so cute so um yeah i tried decided to play for him i won him uh with a combo of free plays and paid plays and I have no regrets. This was the first large plushie I played for, and I actually won. And, uh, I mean, this time. And not last year, because I won two large plushies last year and then realized I shouldn't do this anymore. And yet I continue to. So, yeah, Donald is my favorite thing. He's just so cute, and he's absolutely my favorite Disney character. I love Disney, and I love Donald. I was obsessed with Donald when I was a kid. I, I feel, I even know his whole theme song by heart. It like literally came back to me one day, just randomly, like just popped into my head. So what happened is that when I was really little, we used to have a, um, a tape that was just Donald and Daisy stuff. And I used to watch that tape over and over and over again. My grandma used to play it for me to like calm me down when I couldn't sleep. And that was probably my first ever ship. <laughs> Donald and Daisy and I always felt really bad for Donald because I feel like he got a bum rap you know like he's they're always like oh he's the grouchy one but he has these freaking troublemakers pissing him off and then he has his nephews who are also little brats also pissing him off so of course he's angry you know like leave him alone <laughs> he didn't do nothing look how cute he is look at that sweet innocent face he's a duck I always like the ducks the best I don't know why like even in Looney Tunes I like Daffy the best so, um, yeah, I feel like, I don't know even why they're always portrayed as, like, jealous, angry characters. They're not. Look how cute they are. Look at, look at Donald. So, yes, this is my favorite thing I got. And he's also on my bed. And he, he's not as big as I thought he would be. So he doesn't take up that much room because his feet just do this. So he's actually sitting on top of my portal companion cube plushie that I did not win, that I bought. But, yeah, look, he's like, I love you. <laughs> so... Yes, that I think was all of the things. Those are all of the things I want. I don't for, I don't think I forgot anything. Um, you could count. I didn't even count to s figure out like was everything here. But yeah, that was it. That was what I. That's my Tereba haul, and I um, I you've now entered the the tips and advice portion of this video. <laughs> 
So if you've stayed this long, it's been an hour that I've been showing you Toreba stuff. Uh, here's the thing. The only way to really win Toreba, you need four crucial um, details of like, you need for sure a lot of time and a lot of patience. Now I, I have some time. I do not have this, this patience thing. This patience thing always eludes me. I just can't with patience. I, I, I don't, like, I, if I have, like, a free play ticket, say, I want to spend it as soon as possible. I can't help it. Like, you have only a day to spend it. So, you know, but even so, like, whenever I can get, like, whenever I remember that, oh, yeah, it's, I can get my free play ticket, I just feel like I, I don't wait for the opportune moments. I mean, I have, as you've seen, won a lot of things with free play tickets, but most of those things were just me and that's the, that comes to my other like really important thing you need. Well, first, actually, the other thing you really need other than time and patience is skill. And I don't have a lot of that. I have some only coming from experience of now playing this for so many months um, where, you know, what's the right way to move something? What's, what's the, what do you do when something's in this position? What do you do with this kind of shape thing? You know, um, but... A, Skill comes from experience, um, from watching other people. Really, is that that's it? And experimenting, um, but that's if you have money to experiment. So yeah, um, time, patience, skill. The only the, the I lack skill and patience. So the other thing that really has helped me in winning any of these things is luck. Luck is the most important factor. Because being in the right place at the right time, being behind the right person at the right time, um, you know, like I said, I've won a lot of things by just making a mistake, making a mistake and having it work anyway. So yeah, a lot of it was sheer luck. And um, I think that's, that's what the point of the game is. Now, tips to play, tips to win, besides those, like, uh, that, like that list of uh, requirements that you either do or do not have like me, um, you need to watch a lot of people. That's where the time thing comes in and the patience thing comes in. And it's important to make sure that you watch people because, you know, there are sites where you could go and see like old replays of wins, but that might not help you because here's the thing. While the machine, Tereba is... Tereb is legitimate. Like, if you win something, you will get your prize, as you see. There's nothing I've not gotten, thank God. Um, and not only that, like, when they ship you stuff, it takes a while. Like, when I first started in February and I was playing, they were behind. They were really behind. I was remembering people saying that they had stuff from November that they still hadn't gotten. So they fixed that now, and they've been really quick with their shipping. Like, well, quick-ish. Like, things would take, like, a few weeks when you request shipping like two to three weeks uh to actually ship it out but once it's shipped out they they do like global express shipping they that you will get i get mine in three days from when they tell me it's shipped to when it arrives is like literally three days like i get stuff faster from tereba than i do from like my domestic orders um so yeah that's the that's the good thing like they ship really quickly once it is shipped uh, the other thing is though, so you're not going to get ripped off. This is not a scam. You do get your prizes. Um, that being said, there is it is it rigged? It is rigged. Just like all crane machine games are rigged, whether you're in the West or you're in Japan, um, because this is a, still a business. So if people were winning things right, left, and center, you're they're not going to be making money you, because they ship such su like express shipping. They're paying a lot. Like, I've seen my, some of my boxes come, and it says $50 for shipping plus. Like, that's crazy, um, especially if you have people who, let's say, are just winning on, like, free tickets. So they need to make up for that. They need to make up for the people who are really good at this game by, you know, making it harder for those people to win and for anyone to win. And the way they do that is, um, and that's why I said you should watch people play recent games like watch recent wins and just stock those machines and see what what happens when people play them because what used to work doesn't work now usually um you know like a day can make all the difference that from the fact that they're positioning the the um item differently at the start 
to um, to the fact that they could be adjusting the claw strength, like oh, you know, maybe the claw was really strong the day before because for whatever reason they're either trying to draw people in or maybe it was a really new prize and they wanted to show people you could win it or or um, or even that they were clearing out trying to clear out stock but they they um, they mess with the claw machine strength all the time so maybe one side was stronger yesterday and now this side the other side is stronger or maybe nothing is strong today because for whatever reason they're trying to just make their money back from how many people won the prize the day before and like really just like two or three turns or even one turn so yeah, you have to watch the recent place because that's how you're gonna know what's what works now. Um, the other thing is, like I said, you stock the machines. You have to because if you, there's something you really really want, you just have to like basically sink, sink your time into it. Um, I, I te then again for me, most of the stuff I've won hasn't been me sinking my time in. It's been me just stumbling into a opportune moment. So, like, you know, being in the right place at the right time is huge. But you can't practice that. It's just luck. Again, luck is really big in, factor in this, um, in this game. So, uh, but yeah, so you've got, you've got to know that um, you will probably be at a disadvantage. It's gambling. I mean, that's the end of the day. This, this is gambling. So the house always ends up winning in the end for most, for most people. Other people are just luckier or more skilled or more patient and um, smarter about how they play. So maybe for them, they come out ahead, especially those people who like resell things. Because you could, if you're really good, you could like win a lot of stuff and not that many plays and then put, bump up the price when you sell it and make your money back and then some, which is fantastic if you can do that. But I cannot do that. And I wouldn't want to. Like, there's nothing I've won that I would want to sell anyway. Except maybe Envy. Who should not be here. Um, uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, but yeah, that that's actually the other thing I want to talk about. Do I recommend Toreva? Um, yeah. Depends on the person you are. Depends on your personality. I learned, like I said, I learned a lot about myself when I was playing this game the last three months. And I didn't, it's very easy to keep spending. It is very easy to keep spending and not realize how much you're spending because another $5 here, another 10 there, another 20 there. Uh, I used to like giving myself a buffer because uh, this game makes me anxious. Like, you know you only have so many turns, you've only put so much money in and you don't want to lose in those turns. So I would give myself more turns than I think I needed so that I wouldn't be so nervous and wouldn't make stupid mistakes. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Now, um... But yeah, if, if you have an addictive personality, which I, I obviously do, I don't know if I would recommend Toreva, to be honest, because I feel like you could very easily be, like, get caught up on the thrill of winning and forget how much you're actually spending. And, um, and, and again, like I said, because it's gambling, at the end of the day, the house always wins. And therefore, no matter how many prizes you won, unless you're like really, really good and like a reseller, you're probably going to be at a loss rather than at a gain. Um, so I also would advise that if you're somebody who is a cat, who's like casually just wants to check it out, just play for the things you really, really want. Because I feel like if you start like going for just anything, that's another easy way to like lose money because you know you're just like oh you're tempted because this is cute or whatever or it looks like it's winnable that's the other advice i have um most of the stuff i won was basically from somebody else playing first and then like capitalizing on them leaving or leaving it in a good position however um, most of the things i've sunk money into and never got where most of my money went i would say for thing, basically most of my money went to things I lost. And that was because I was trying to do exactly that, which is play from somebody else's mistake. Like they, they um, made the item get stuck in some weird way and that's why, they, that's why they abandoned it. So if you see something that no one's playing, usually there's a reason. Um, but sometimes, you know, you get lucky and you do something that somebody else hasn't thought of doing. But... I feel like that's usually not the case. 
So, um, yeah, most of the stuff I lost was because I was trying to fix something that somebody else messed up. And I never could. I couldn't do it. So I remember I was playing for like a Rilakkuma plushie that was, this was really early on. I was playing for a Rilakkuma plushie that was like a, um, what's it called? It was like a, a Lucky Kitty Rilakkuma. It was dressed up like a Lucky Kitty. And in fact, I didn't want the Rilakkuma. I wanted the core Rilakkuma, the white one, because I thought that looked cuter in that costume. And I never won it. I tried it multiple times at different days because... It looked like it could be winnable, but it wasn't because it would get into the same position every time and get stuck. Other people got lucky and knew where to poke it or how to poke it. I was, I'm never good at poking because I'm very bad at aiming because that's the other thing. Okay, so, but yeah, basically sometimes, a lot, or I should say a lot of the time, it's best to just kind of suck it up and play from the start position. Be that first person. If you know how to win it, it's better to just try and do it from the start position you'll waste less plays if you're if you're accurate than to try and get it from somebody who's already messed it up and it's just especially the boxes like when they get into that like weird diamond thing where they're like you know their corners are sticking up and down uh and the other corners are like parallel to the bars it's so hard that's what alice was my giant my like nice figure of alice she was like that and i just managed to get her because thankfully the claw was strong enough to pick it up but look how many tries it still took me just to do it because it's a pain in the ass when it's in that position so but yeah the other advice i would give is um yeah so don't not necessarily always good to try and snipe something from someone who gave up because you could end up wasting more money than if you just played from the start um but let's see what other advice would i give i don't know if the time of day really makes that much of a difference i've won at all times of day and night so i think it's just again being in the right place at the right time and um mm, i don't know like again a lot of it is luck it's luck so but would I recommend you play? Again, just be just be mindful of how much you're spending. Is my is my um, advice because you you may think it's not a lot, but it really does add up. It adds up so fast, and um, that's why I've stopped because I feel like you know I'd rather quit while I'm not ahead, but not behind either. Like I didn't spend a ridiculous amount for each item. I mean, there are some things that I got that are like. This is obviously not worth what the average amount I've spent is, but, which is fine. Um, because other things that I got, which were either free or like not that many plays um, and are really big items were, you know, it like, again, it averages out. Um, and also another thing is when you're playing, think about how much this item costs if you would just buy it. Like, would you? Like if like look look things up on eBay, see what other people are selling it for, and if you think that oh you know like set yourself some kind of limit or budget, say okay I'm only gonna spend this much on this, and if if I can't get it in that I quit. Uh, it's really easy to just keep saying no no I've already put this much money in I'm not giving up, but I've lost that's that's why you that's an easy way to lose so much money because you 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 get you start getting really anxious too at least i do like if you've put so much money in and you still not want it you get to the point where like i can't let go now because if i if i stop now like i've lost all this money but if you if you keep going and you still don't win it then you've lost even more money so it's like it's like uh, you know um but yeah it, it, it's just it's it's also um another thing is that's why i say play for what you really want because you have to ask yourself when you see an item, if this was in a store and you could just buy it, would you? Most of the stuff I got, no, I wouldn't. I would if I saw it in a store, the the Q poskets I would. Q poskets I would because I like them and I've always wanted the Q poskets. And they're small enough where I don't feel bad buying a bunch of them because I could just put them on shelves. Um, and they don't take up that that much space. But would you feel bad buy like would you buy it? Most of the stuff you wouldn't. I, I, I have no doubt in my mind most of the stuff that people win isn't something they would buy if it was just in a store. Um, well, the reason that people get such a thrill of this uh, out of this is because you are like potentially winning something for much cheaper than if you were to buy it. 
and you know it's like the 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 feeling of oh I got a really good deal on this and I won it and there was that there's that accomplishment of winning um but you have to be careful like you feel if you're getting thrill from winning which I was which I am which I do um you know you you you're 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 addicted to it you are because you shouldn't be getting that like amazing oh my god that you know made me so happy feeling and especially because you know when you don't win something you feel so shitty about yourself you're just like you i i remember like some some of the things i lost and or and put a good amount of money into i just the next like the ne like immediately felt like oh like kind of like buyer's remorse especially considering i didn't get the thing i bought so it's just like you just you get such a low you get really high highs and really low lows and uh, it sucks and then you the, the other problem is when you put in enough money where you feel like oh I, now the house the house being tereba is so ahead that you feel like you need to make up for it you need to win more things so that you can break even somehow that's that's also don't think that way because you will never make up for it even though they give you free play tickets and that's how they get you like i said um it doesn't matter because like like with the last thing i got yeast can um i i had my free play but it wasn't enough and i ended up spending five more dollars so i'm not ahead because when you average everything out it's not it's not you paid for everything even the things you got for free you paid for so, um, but maybe not if you average in the cost of shipping, because like I said, that is a major, that, that's a lot of money to pay for shipping. I don't know what they're doing, but I mean, it's nice that you get them so quick. And I mean, the reason it's like they ship it so fast and it's like with that intense, like priority mail stuff is because express shipping, because you have to sign for it. You have to sign for your packages and that's not even to protect you. It's more so to protect them. So you can't say, oh, I never got it. No, they have proof you got it. So yeah, um, which is smart. That that's that makes sense. So um, yeah, any other advice? Mm. Like I said, time, patience, luck, skill. That's really it. I mean, I, again, I do recommend Tereba if you're a casual, like you could just casually play it and and be fine and like put a little money in here and or play a free ticket, you know, here and there and just be like enjoy it and win a couple things and and yay I, I was able to play like actual crane machine games in japan um from my phone oh that's the other thing i wanted to say phone or browser okay so my opinion it's 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 a complicated question because for me i feel like the lag is less bad on my on my browser in the browser to play this game um but at the same time, if you're really going for some, like, really major, very popular prize, good luck getting in the queue on the browser. You won't. Because it will fill up before you can even click that button to, to get in. It, because it's just, if for whatever reason the, the, the browser is slower, much farther behind um, with the camera, like when it comes out of maiden's mode or restocking, um, they... they the, the app is so much faster like you could you actually fight your way into the queue on the app but the app in my opinion like I said I feel like, like the lag is worse I feel like when you actually finally start playing that I have less control over the the crane um, the only thing I feel like I've even won on the app was the card capture ironically the card capture Sakura towel which I also also the reason why I lost on the app on uh the uh card capture soccer tote last year uh because i was playing on the phone <laughs> so it's like a, i don't know i got i lucked out but i in my opinion i prefer the browser overall and i try and stay away from the really popular machines um because i feel like it's just too hard to get in the queue and you're fighting a lot of people who are really good at this game and are like farming the the prizes the re because the only reason other than the fact that it's a well sought after prize uh for those queues to be so full and is because usually there is a way to win like it's usually the claw is strong or you know it's just it's just not doesn't take a lot of turns and that's why it's so popular um yeah people rush to machines when they see a claw is strong so 
Yeah, that's the other advice I would give. Like, I feel like the browser overall is better to play in. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so I do recommend Tereba, but I use caution. <laughs> use caution because it's gambling. It's just straight up gambling and you can lose a lot of money really fast if you're not careful with how you spend it. So, um most of the stuff I won, other than maybe Alice and um, Donald, I won in literally just a few plays. Um, things didn't take that many plays, um, or and maybe maybe Ed, Ed as well took a few more than I think. I, I think I spent fifteen on him overall, but him and Envy because Envy came along for the ride. So, or maybe actually no, I think overall it was thirty for both, so fifteen each. Even though I didn't want MV. So I could technically sell MV. But I'm, I'm lazy to do that. <laughs> Does anyone want her? Or him? Or I don't know if they have a sex. Does MV have a sex? I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, but yeah. That was my Tereba video. Those were my... my, my that, that was my advice. And um, I have stopped playing other than like free tickets. And I, I just don't want to spend any more money. And I feel like I'm in a comfortable position now after winning these 10 that I I need to stop. Especially since I don't have any more room on my bed. <laughs> uh, those big three big plushies and all the bags. I don't need any more bags. I have a lot of little plushies. I have a lot of cute poskets. And I just have even quite a few towels. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Tereba was fun. It's fun game. It is a very fun game. I love crane machine games. I will always love them. I like, I've never, it's funny because I've never actually gambled. Like I've never been to a casino, but this is gambling. So yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it, you just have to be careful. Just be careful and mindful of how you spend your money. And it could be a lot of fun and you can win like a lot of cute stuff that you can't get very easily anywhere else. Um, because these are just genuine Japanese crane machine prizes that aren't necessarily sold in stores. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed, like, looking at all the things that I now have cluttering my room, uh, as if I needed more. But, and um, if you do play Tereba, I hope you have a lot of luck. And, um, you know, enjoy. <laughs> Bye!